Hello. Uh, well, it was in the. Well, okay. So, hello everyone. I'm here to present to you our case related to Zabbix management uh, with CMDB integration. Okay. First of all, I would like to present myself. My name is Thiago. I'm from Brazil, and I work uh, with Zabbix as a uh, 14 years. And uh, I already work as a Zabbix certified trainer, uh, providing uh, provide training for America and Spain. And I work in five years for uh, Natix in Portugal, and a tech lead of a uh, monitoring team. Well, uh, before I, I talk to you about our case, I need to introduce your uh, environment. Okay, uh, Natix in Portugal is part of Group BPC. Uh, uh, the BPC group is the second biggest uh, bank in France and responsible for more than 20% of uh, financial contribution in France. Uh, as, as we can see, uh, Natix, Natix uh, is part of Group BPC and for, for uh, work with IT uh, stuffs, we uh, was necessary to create a department. This department is BPC IT. Okay, BPC IT is a is a, cent a technological center of excellence, and uh, it's represented for uh, Natix in Portugal. Our data, uh, our pre our presence is in around the world, but uh, we have we have here. More in France, of course, but we are present. Uh, our presence is in New York, Singapore, Hong Kong. Our data centers are located in France, in two places, in Paris and Toulouse. And well, and here we need to to introduce our environment uh, because it's important to understand why we need to integrate Zabbix with CMDB. As you can see, we have several servers, applications, and, and infrastructure, and uh, also a lot of uh, data, traffic data, uh, application, application tasks. And for that, mm, okay, I need to create everything inside to Zabbix for that, because uh, as, you, as you can imagine, uh, the number of applications, the number of uh, hosts, the number of uh, uh, different users will demand to create several templates, several host groups, user groups, and something like that. Uh, our number here is related to around 80,000 hosts monitored, but the important thing here is exactly that, the number of uh, hosts created and deleted daily. It's the same for the application monitor, uh, active users, and, and that, that thing is so important to say to you because it demands a, a lot of organization, and the number of Zabbix instances there, okay? The number of Zabbix instances is related to our organization, so we need to create a, a lot of Zabbix. Well, everything here, Every host, every application, everything inside your organization demands to we uh, manage hosts, manage templates, manage host groups and user groups. Everything here needs to be propagated to every Zabbix server. We can imagine 18 different Zabbix instances will demand a lot of work for us if you need to do that manually. So we need to figure out how to automatize everything here. Our challenge was related to that, to create templates, to, to link, uh, to make every template uh, be related to every application or every operational system, okay? We needed to, we needed to create a relationship uh, between everything. So, we need to automatize that. And we ask ourselves about mm, where is this information? 
as you know, of course, we can uh, use the auto registration, for example, with, with a host metadata to, to do that, but we can imagine the number of different applications, number of different things, uh, manage the host metadata inside the every Zabbix agent will be so expensive to us. Do you have some? Uh, do you have some idea? Uh, we are uh, taking charge, taking count every everything here. Different software, different hardwares, uh, network, and data. Okay, so everything here, every combination could could generate a different template. So, well, we we have luck, if you know, but unfortunately, sometimes it will generate several several template, different templates. Happily, we have a CMDB. The CMDB, as you, uh, as you know, is responsible to, to have uh, every information about uh, assets of a company, okay? And we decided to use that, to use this information as long, uh, because our internal process to every time that you change something on our company, it should be, uh, it must be created, uh, updated on CMDB. I tell you about deploy a new application, I tell you to create a, a new server, something like that. Even uh, on deploy server, everything should be uh, updated in CMDB. So, uh, CMDB here, uh, as, you, as you know, as you know, uh, I have the different information about, about the assets, and we decided to, we needed to relate, uh, create a relationship between every template on Zabbix with the information inside of the CMDB. For that, we create, uh, we needed to use some techniques here, okay? And uh, I would say to you sometimes, Zabbix is a matter of creativity because everything, uh, everything I, I'm not sure if it's not possible to do every, uh, something in Zabbix because uh, some way we can create some task with Zabbix. For that, we needed to create uh, user macros. We need to create macros and tags, okay? Every, everything here is to, to be sure if for example, there is a template for application. If it, the template is linked to to right host, and if the host, for example, mm, this host doesn't have uh, has a template yet linked to that, but there is application installed the, on this host, and there is a template related to this to this uh, application. From where I I got this information, CMDB. But the point here is how I got the information from CMDB, how I transported every information necessary from CMDB to Zabbix using a template. So, uh, to be clear for you, uh, we create a template, and this template is uh, linked to every host deployed on our environment. This template is responsible for get every information from template register on CMDB, and with that, I able to uh, work with this information. Well, here we have the, the template in CMDB, okay, and uh, with uh, several items, and uh, it is still in development. It's always in development, because it's a, a dynamic, uh, dynamic integration. Uh, every day we, we figure out about new, uh, new features to be implemented, and so, but that's, that's, the, that's the example where I get everything with the CMDB, and after that, a lot of dependent items to separate everyone in, in separate uh, items, of course. Uh, well, it's important to say to you, it's related to low-level discovery, because low-level discovery is responsible for discover the application installed on the host based on CMDB information. By the way, CMD was developed in our CMDB, and our CMDB is an internal CMDB developed by uh, Natix in Portugal, and 
This SIMDB was the, uh, delivered to monitoring team uh, API to retrieve every information. So this, is, this API is delivering the information in, in JSON format, and of course, it will make it easier to us to integrate with LLD. Well, uh, here we can see uh, a trigger, okay? It's so expensive to explain everything here, but uh, just to, to be clear to you, uh, some, uh, some information here in this trigger it's, uh, I needed to put it here, not to evaluate trigger, but to be used in the, in the action, because uh, some information should be uh, uh, included in the actual execution, okay? And uh, uh, of course, for, uh, for script to, to, to do what it needs to do. But uh, for example, some, some information here is just a matter to be used in the action. Okay, uh, it's, it's uh, related to template, for example. Uh, the template uh, has uh, information about the operational system and the version. In this case, the template will be uh, uh, linked to all versions of Linux. Uh, in this case, it's for apl application. Uh, everything here is related to our internal organization, okay? Uh, when I say application, function, sub-function, and version, it was uh, it's an internal demand of our process. But here, it's important to say uh, this template related to Apache Tomcat has a, a value two here. Was necessary to to work with uh, mac, context macro, okay, uh, and advanced to have uh, everything here work as well. Well, so after after I collect the data. After I create triggers to evaluate every information there, I needed to create some actions based on this trigger. So, uh, as you as you know, uh, action based on trigger doesn't ha uh, doesn't have some actions as auto registration action. For example, link template, add and remove host group or disable host. Okay, so I needed to we needed to develop some scripts for that. And here we have uh, we have some actions because because in this case we have the uh, the action to link the operational system template, uh, then other template that as you want, for example, application template. And in the case we de undeploy some server from our environment, this information is updated on CMDB, so the action will will work to remove the, the the host from our Zadix. Here we have some uh, example of uh, Python scripts developed uh, developed for that. Okay, as uh, as you can see, uh, can imagine, it's uh, it's based on uh, API uh, API Zabbix API. But we are working in, uh, to replace every uh, Python here for webhook. Why we did it that yet? Because our Zabbix is still in the. 5.0, <laughs> and uh, as we are in a huge environment, it's so it's so hard sometimes to to be fast to upgrade the environment. Well, here we have an example about about the operational system operational system linkage. So the host is created, the information the information is retrieved from from CMDB, and we receive it. This is the Linux. And the, the team responsible for that is retrieved for, uh, from CMDB. So there is an action to uh, add this host to host group. It's the same for template. As long as I retrieve the information about the Linux, there is an action to link this template to host. Of course, uh, I, uh, in this case here, the application, uh, the, the action is uh, executing in retrieving for uh, templates. What template is for Linux version, whatever? So internally, the script will work with that and will link to write template. It is, is the same for application. The application is a similar situation where you need to include the host to the host group. Uh, link the template to write the template, okay? 
and uh, uh, it's, uh, that's the impar important part here. Let's imagine I have uh, Apache, uh, Apache Tomcat uh, template created, so I, I need to create a global, global macro, context macro in this case, to, uh, to put the value equal one. The trigger prototype created will evaluate that. For example, the trigger prototype is related to Apache Tomcat. If the trigger uh, evaluate and, the, in, and this uh, macro is in equal one, so the, the trigger will become in problem, and so the, the, uh, the temp action to link the template will work. And inside the template, there is the same, there is the same user macro, uh, context macro, but with, with the value to, so the same trigger responsible for, for uh, verify it's, it's not with the template, the same trigger will reach, okay, now I have the template uh, linked to, to this host as necessary, so the trigger becomes okay. Even, even for maintenance, because uh, internally we have uh, some uh, maintenance policies separate for days and some uh, periods, and every host inside the CMDB is tagged with what is the maintenance policy, okay? So based on that, I can create maintenance previously for every day to, to fit with every host uh, based on this maintenance policy. For example, uh, if the host will suffer a maintenance every Monday or the first Monday of the month, I already created a maintenance for that, okay? And based on tags, because every information here will become a, a, as a tag. So, okay, for me, it's not necessary to create a, uh, a maintenance for that as long as it's a regular, a, uh, uh, regular uh, maintenance. And remove host is the same. Remove host is the same. In the moment that host is, un, uh, is undeployed from, from our environment, this information is updated on CMDB and the host monitor is uh, retrieving the same data from CMDB. As soon as uh, Zabbix receive, okay, it was undeployed, so I disable the host. What's the result of that? Well, first, first thing was host on the right host groups, host linked to do templates, undeployed host removed from Zabbix, host with smart tags allowing a better event correlation It's the next time because you can imagine the number of uh, information that could be retrieved from CMDB, and every information here could be uh, used to generate event correlation, and even that smart reports, because in, fa uh, in case, for example, you, you have, let's imagine, a massive on your environment, you can say, well, uh, this massive is related to Linux operational system or Windows operational system inside this data center or in this hack because every information was retrieved from CMDB. So I can create this, uh, this kind of uh, dashboards and uh, this kind of reports, okay? And as I told you to you, smart maintenance based on tags, okay? So that was my presentation, question. Okay, no, no, thank you. No. <laughs> <laughs>